if you were going to play rock and roll or any upbeat number and you wanted to take a, a guitar ride, you would end up playing like Chuck or what you learned from Chuck. Because there is very little actually other choice. There's not a lot of other ways to play rock and roll other than the way Chuck plays it. If you tried to play, you know all this stuff that's like I was doing the double string stuff. It oh, it's really full, you know. And if you if you give me a, a, a break in a, in a fast, you know, when I, and I start playing single single lines, it doesn't sound right. It just doesn't sound right. It sounds thin or something, or or too fiddly. Explain. Well, you know, like to go. Uh, so. It would be okay, but it wouldn't be as good as... Really, for me, anyway. So he's really laid the law down for playing that that kind of music. When, when... Okay, so, okay let's just do uh, acapella. One, two, three, four. When, when I see those big brown eyes, that's when I, I take, take my cue. cue. Don't take <laughs> us but a few minutes to get a message through. Talk to you, you talk to me. I keep talking to the wrong person. It don't take but a few minutes. What is that? If you sing it right, I'm talking to you. It don't take us but a few minutes. Wait, go guys, you're real slow. Yeah, Oh, we sound like an alcohol. Hold it. It don't. Let's go up slow. It don't take. But you Okay, it don't take but a few. Okay, I got it. one, it don't take straight away. One, two, three, four. It, it don't, don't take but, but a few minutes, minutes to get a message. Not to through. understand each understand each other. Uh, am I gonna remember that? <laughs> well you wrote it. <laughs> I tell you what, if I don't remember it, I'd be like There's a whole mixture of things. I I hear Latin and country, jazz. The whole thing makes a beautiful hybrid. But it seems like there's not an understanding on his part that he's a great songwriter. He just kind of sloughs it off. Not entirely. I'm not too sure. I don't, I've only just met him, and it's hard to say from just knowing him this short a time really what his kind of acceptance of the whole thing is. First of all, I thought I'd heard stories that he was very bitter, and uh, he thought people had ripped him off. And in order to think that, you must be aware of how far your influence has spread. I don't really know if he's if he's completely aware of how much people love his music, you know, because I know he's more he's he's often very keen to be a showman, and that can be a sign of the fact that you're not very secure with what you really are good at, you know. And when I like to hear him play those ballads and things like that, I know that's deep in his heart. And if he was doing that on on stage, then I kind of feel that he was more that he was really aware of how much people do love it.